thanks to everyone who have watched my YouTube ads. Ah, that's why I have a new gadget today. I just bought one more ring light. So I hope the video quality is a lot better from now onwards. And today I'm going to share with you how the market is performing. So to know how the market is performing, very importantly is how well HDB resale prices is moving. Are you happy or not? Because 80% of Singaporeans owns a HDB flat and the results, drum roll. HDB resale prices increased 2.3% percent in Q2 of 2024 and transactions is up by 4% which is not only good news to the existing HDB upgraders it also impact EC owners private property owners like condos and of course landed properties as well so how does HDB resale prices impact condos la, landers la? I'll be sharing with you shortly so let's do some recap in 2023 property market is doing well so if you have bought any good properties in 2023 you have made money by now I must emphasize good properties because even you buy good properties in bad times you will still make money likewise you buy a shit property in the best time you also lose money immediately and in 2023 property do well how many million dollar flats are there in 2023 and we have 469 million dollar flats so the big question will property price continue to increase for this year 2024 so how many million dollar flats we have sold for just Q1, you will be shocked, man. $185 million flats. And quarter two from April to June, $236 million flats. That means in just the first six months of this year, $421 million flats. That means by this year end, it's quite possible to hit double of the million dollar flats sold in 2023. It is very crazy, eh? So if you take like 421 divided by uh, 180, 83 days ah. Uh. Every day we have 2.3 million dollar flats sold every day leh. So you see, million dollar flats is getting more and more common lah. Uh, due to what? Inflation lor. Uh. And I realize some of the people, they don't believe that BTO will hit 2 million one day. And some of the people also don't believe that brand new BTO will cost 1 million one day which will be soon my friend and don't be shocked because if I remember correctly the highest price for BTO is at Amokyo which is called the Sen, Sen, see me, uh, Central Weave uh. the 5 room flat cost 877,000 already eh. it's very close to a million already uh. so you maybe in just a few years time you will, you will see the first million dollar BTO flat being launched I guess it's the beige one uh, because that one got C view uh. and in my last video I do not know uh, the record prices that I shared is still June or till May, but never mind, let's forget about that. And, and I'm not going to continue from that video. I'm going to restart a new one because there are too many million dollar flats record prices every day. So in just July alone, got 120 million dollar HB flat, which is like a four a day, man. So let's go for the first one. Uh. July 1st, take a break. 2nd of July, straight away, we have 1.14 million all-time high for a low floor unit in Tampines. Ah, so take note. Any million dollar flat in this estate that you hear later on, these are the areas whereby all the freshly baked Huakui HDB owners are uh, ah, they may upgrade to the nearby condos. That's why the condos there hot wa. And the Tampines is a one good example of a very hot OCR estate. So quickly talk about 1.14 million. What can you buy? Uh, for private property, 1.14 million, uh, you can only get a 2-bed, two 2-bath two in OCR. Uh, definitely, you can't get a 3-bedroom in OCR anymore because right now in Templis, the cheapest you can get is at least 1.35 million for a 3-bed, two 2-bath. Two and I will put it here on the timeline. Uh, I'll put it here. Uh. Immediately, 3 days later, we have 1.20888888. Aiyah. Why so now? Now. Should also give 88 cents ma. Just give 1.20888. 88 cents so that you can what all the way and then four days later we have executive unit all-time high record breaking sale 1.238 million highest in Serangoon there are so many record prices until I've forgotten what's the last one now you know lah Tampines what Serangoon what Amokyo what okay I will put it here so let's put it here then this time very fast Two days later, another record price. And this time in this estate, forever one lah. Four room unit at Dawson, which is Queenstown, sold for 1.3 million. A four room flat is the same as a three bedroom condo because they have three rooms ma. So at 1.3 million, yes, you can buy a record price at City Fringe, Queenstown. And today at 1.3 million, you can only get 
the XEC 3 bit toolbar in the north, in the west, in northeast, and east. There's a few choices, but if you want to pay a lot more just to appear on newspaper, uh, then you pay 1.31 million for a four room flat in Queenstown next. Uh. For the next record, this time it took some time. This time it's 11 days. Triple record price. The first one, second million dollar flat in Sengang. Second one, HDB loft in Pongo. Third one, executive in Clementi. All time high. So these three records, you spread across 11 days. Uh. Almost every two, three days, you have one record price. Uh. Okay, let's look at the record for these three of them. The first one is the Clementi one. Executive 1.15 million. Pongo one is a five room loft, 1.228 million. Pongo also what one because now it's not 1 million, now it's 1.228 million. Eh. Once you see million dollar flats, uh, the condos there what one. Uh. Then the third one is Sengkang, the second HDB flat sold for 1 million, which is a five room flat. From here, you can see something. It's quite weird one. Sengkang, uh, don't know why, for some reasons, uh, the condos don't perform as good as Pongo. Weird, right? Pongo is at the end. Sengkang is second to the end, but Pongo is the one that has good growth. Yeah, sometimes I also don't know how to explain. So due to a lot of research that I've done, there are certain areas just meet everything. Got MRT, got shopping mall, got everything, but it just don't perform. I don't think you are like me who look at numbers every day. Ma. But anyway, this is a tip for you. Sengkang don't really perform. I have a reason here. Uh, I don't know whether I want to say or not. Uh. Because of the political area la. So uh, maybe that's the only reason lor. Okay next Before I tell you the next record price for HDB Why not we talk about private property If you can see the HDB record price Almost every 2-3 days What do you think about private property price? Is it lesser or is it more? Then you are correct la. Of course more la. Because as I say I look at numbers every day All my top resale projects they record price every day. Eh. You know, I went for Japan just for this three night over the weekend just to have a breather. Just four days, then you can see, wow, this one record price by another 100k more. 100k more! Guys, it's a lot of money. It's like from 2.08, the next one, 2.18 million. It's like, huh? Wow, record price here. Then the small one, 1 1.3 million. Then the next one, now want to transact 1.4. The small one also 100k more. Now you understand, when you see HG prices go up so fast, ah, Private property is a safer asset, which I always encourage everyone, if you have the guts, always upgrade when you can. Because things is not getting any easier, it's getting more and more challenging. I do this like for 14, 15 years. Every time I do my consultation, price is getting higher, you are getting cuter, and your income can't fight property price at all. That's the reason you buy property. What? In summary, resale property price. Every day got record price. And I do recommend good resale projects to my members. Lah. So I don't only talk about new launch, new launch, new launch. I do a lot of resale properties as well. Okay, let's move on. Next one is the Ooh La La one, lah, which is the highlight for this year. I don't think it's this year. Lah. It will be even higher. Lah. So we have 1.73 million for a five room at Queenstown. I think the last one was like 1.588 million at the Tiong Bahru one. I think it's the Tiong Bahru one. And then now we have 1.73. So you see the jump is like, wow, how much more? 150k more, 160k more, which is amazing. Lah. So if you think that HDB goes up like, wow, even crazier, I show you lender is my blown man. Now I'll show you shortly. But most importantly, now ask yourself. Since everyone know about this transaction, 1.73 million. So I think the next very uh, interesting question is, what can you buy in a resale condo market for 1.73 million? Uh, let's round up to 1.75. Uh. You know why? Because 1.75, the good news to you. There's a small chance, uh, this little, this little chance that you may still possible to buy a three-bedroom in City Fringe with MRT and shopping mall. But it's so rare because my last member who bought this is like a few months ago, three bed, two bar, City Fringe at 1.73 million. So now I just up a bit, I say 1.75 because market goes up about 10k per month. So which means 
per year, it has a potential increment of 100k capital gains every year. La. So that's why I say now it's about maybe 1.75. There's a small possibility you can buy this CD fringe. So if you can't get this 1.75 million CD fringe tree beta, it means you are priced out already. Price out means you cannot buy anymore. La. So what can you do if you price out? It's either you drop one tier from 3 bit 2 buff to 2 bit plus study law. But sometimes some project do have 2 plus study. So you drop one more tier to 2 bit 2 buff. And 2 bit 2 buff CD fringe about 1.4 plus million. Then if you want a 3 beta, what you can do? You are priced out from CD fringe. The only way to get 3 beta is to go all the way further away to JB. No lah. To issue no lah. No lah. To pull out win no lah. No lah. To... Uh, your, your, your OCR. Uh, OCR a lot of area. Uh. Your Jurong, uh, your Canberra, your Chua Chu Kang, uh, your East. Uh, east, you have your Tampanese, your Passeries, your Burdo. Uh, there's a lot of OCR areas. And the good news to you, it's possible that you can get a four-bedroom condo. Uh, it's an XEC. Uh. And I shared this before. Some XEC is walkable to MRT station. And some even best, you can walk to shopping mall. And some got very good primary school as well. So with such combination, uh, what MRT, la, shopping mall, la, good school, la, even an XEC at uh, 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 less than 10 or even 10 years old, they still perform well. And when I say perform well, 100k per year, lor, quite easy on. When I say easy, it, it's based on facts and figures. My one to one member who just bought one year ago, made 100, lor. some made 150. La. Those who bought two years ago, uh, they make 200, some good ones make 400. So I'm happy for this person. Uh, they bought a three bedder two years ago. Everyone just two years ago at 1.4 million a three bedroom in OCR. Today 1.8 million. You know who you are. I've congratulated before. I'm very happy for you. So you should start looking at your second property. So what's so good about second property? Imagine one property make two three hundred k for two years. Two properties six hundred law. And the entry price is not high because we are talking about OCR. I'm not talking about oh buy core region, uh, buy the wow, very pretty, pretty, luxury, luxury, expensive type. No lah, we buy in areas whereby HDB upgraders would like it. Uh, so this that's why knowing where are the million dollar flat estate is very important for your upgrade journey. I am making money very simple, la, but for those people who don't know, you may think it's an art. Don't one ah. No lah, you have me in your life ah. You sure hot one. So in summary, 1.75 million potentially can buy a 3 beta in City Fringe, but you are almost priced out ah, as I said just now. If not, you can go for a 3 bed 3 buff condo or for those people who have 6-7 people, a village of people to live together ah, ah, then it's possible to get a 4 bedroom XEC. This is a fun update for HDB flats and how it will affect like condo prices and definitely lender prices as well. So I hope everyone will start somewhere, just plan, just get things done and move lah. Continue to get yourself educated and see you in my next video.